So the story goes that by loading a bullet backwards, you can improvise a soft point or maybe a hollow point, maybe neither of those, but the idea is to get more effect from the bullet itself. So we're going to give that a shot. I read it on the internet, so, you know, what could go wrong? 308 win. Let's go. I have two immediate concerns here, the first being case volume. There's a difference. But what I'm thinking about the most right now is the flow of gases. Here we've got a nice sloping wedge for the gases to push into. Is that going to cause increased pressure here? Whereas on a regular round we've got a flat surface and then some less steep angles around the boat tail. Well, that was all right. The block bounced onto the ground, got a little dirty. Anyways, that definitely did seem to have an effect here. Without a doubt, that thing sure did come apart. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot a regular one through, loaded the correct way, just so we can compare the difference. Okay, let's try to get a little bit better look here. This is our entry point of the regular one, and below it is the backwards one. The regular one went straight through till about the six and a half inch mark, and then it rolled rolled once, uh, once and a half, maybe twice, and then it came out the back of the block and proceeded through about four or five inches of wet paper, and that's where I found the bullet. Right below it, we see, almost immediately upon entry, there's quite a wound channel here, and it has fragmented off in plumes, there's lead, there's jacket material, and then a small amount of it trailed off and came out the back of the block, never to be seen again. Here's the two entry holes. This is our backwards bullet. It's got a significantly larger opening than our regular pointed one. Here's a section of the gel block. Our regular bullet, when it was tumbling, actually created quite a nasty gash there. However, when it was traveling straight, it barely created a pinhole. Our backwards bullet, on the other hand, where it had expanded and shredded apart, created a pretty nasty plus-shaped wound. We started with a 147 grain bullet. The one that was shot regular comes in at 134 grains. The jacket seems intact, so I'm going to contribute this to loss of lead squirt out the bottom of the bullet. On the other hand, our bullet loaded backwards, as you can see, fragmented. I pulled 67 grains of material out of the gel block. So obviously loading the bullet backwards did make a difference. It gave a greater effect with more immediate damage. I also read that this tactic was used for increased damage against armored targets. So let's shoot some steel plate, see what happens. Here's our mild steel target. I think I'm going to shoot at the half inch plate. Well, neither of those passed through. This was backwards, this was regular, and it looks like the backwards one did not penetrate as deeply in the steel as the regular one did. And to finish things off, I've got two milk jugs full of water. I've left the caps off and I haven't filled them to the top to leave a little room for expansion. Just trying to um, quell how much they simply explode from excitement and pressure. What I immediately notice is the milk jug hit by the backwards round is totally destroyed, whereas the one hit with the regular round 
it did split the front and the back, but it's still in one piece. Well, that was bullets loaded backwards. Now these are just 147 grain bullets, and they obviously do have an increased effect immediately upon impact. But what are the ramifications of this, and is it safe? One of the first things I noticed was split necks on all four cases with the bullets loaded backwards. Also, signs of pressure on the primer, bullet loaded backwards, very flattened out primer, whereas our traditional one looks just fine and no split necks on those. And while at first this does seem like an effective way to improvise a more destructive round, the payoff doesn't seem to be worth it issues with pressure and safety are definitely a concern here. My suggestion, do not try this. Thanks for watching and do not try this.